How's it going everybody, it's the Chicago Geographer here, and welcome to another Country Spotlight episode. Now, it's for videos like these that I really wish, a few months ago, even a whole year ago, I just sat down and forced myself to transliterate Cyrillic. Uh, I really wish I had done that, because today we're playing Ukraine. Just a few weeks after playing Russia for Country Spotlight, and suffering through five rounds of Cyrillic-filled goodness, uh, it's gonna happen again here, and sadly, I still don't know how to transliterate it. I can sort of work my way around some words uh, based on context clues, but it, it really doesn't work out that well usually, so uh, we're going to just have to do our best here. Thankfully, uh, a lot of Ukraine's coverage is in cities and towns. There aren't that many rural roads. Um, there are some, but it's not nearly as much as uh, Russia, for example, or other countries. So Three minutes per round is what we're doing. The link is going to be in the description. Uh, make sure to go play along before watching, and that's all that you guys need to know. Here we go. Let's hope for the best here. Oh, man. All right, so we are on one of the more rural roads to start, but that's fine. Uh, we can try and work our way towards a town of some sort, and hopefully we can get to one. Uh, now, based on this landscape, it's pretty flat. Um, so there's that. Now, I'm not super familiar with... Ukraine's landscape that much. I know it to a certain extent, but it's really not uh, my best country on GeoGuessr, so we're just gonna have to hope that we come across a town eventually. That's really my only hope at this point. Okay, so we have some signs here. Looks like we're entering this town, which is called Olesivka, okay, or Oleksivka. Alright, so that is this town. Hopefully it's a fairly big place, and hopefully it has uh, some other mileage signs for me to look at as well. Uh, we'll see. Actually, it seems like a quite small place now. Um, oh boy. So that's no good. Alright, we have some more signs here. What's the deal? Alright, so we're leaving this town, figured. Uh, and we have this. Sevchenka. And we also have this sign, which uh, I don't really know what that's indicating. It must be something important. Um, it must be, but I'm not sure what it's trying to say. So, <laughs> I mean... I'm not really sure what I'm going to do at this point. Uh, even if I could transliterate Cyrillic, I probably would not know what that thing was saying. It's probably some sort of county-type division. Not necessarily of counties, but I don't know. It's probably something significant in that way, but I just don't know what it is. Um, I think we're going to be out of luck here, so I'm just going to head to the map and look for those two towns. I really don't even know where they'll be. They're tiny places too, so this is a, a terrible plan. But really, I don't have any other choice. So we're looking for Oleksivka and Suchevka, I think. Something to that effect. Not that that was it. I honestly don't know where in the country this will be, though. It could be anywhere. running out of time as well, so I'm just going to click there uh, and hope that that's somewhat close. I'll have one last look around. Oh, that's almost it. Okay, so not that far off. Uh, only 91 miles. It could have been a lot worse, honestly. Hopefully we can do better with these next rounds. That was just a sort of warm-up. Getting, getting our feet wet here with these Ukrainian rounds. Uh, based on that one, I'm not having high hopes for the rest, uh, but we will see. We will just have to see. I think I got very lucky with my Russia rounds, because uh, those were pretty easy. I even got a perfect score on one in Russia, which is a pretty huge thing for me. So this is not looking ideal at all. But let's see if we can come across some other signs. Because Ukraine is definitely better at having signs than Russia. That is for sure, as we have this here, telling us about these towns, which 
uh, not familiar with, at least in a transliterated sense. Um, let's try and figure out what they say, though, based on some letters. Um, is that even worth it? Not really, if I'm being honest. So I will keep those towns in mind. I'll head back to that junction if I don't find anything else along here in like 30 seconds to a minute, and then I'm going to just head back there and look for them on the map. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely very plains-like, so I'm thinking we'll be closer or further south almost. South or east. I'm not really sure if that's right. I might be just completely wrong, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. So we'll see how that works out. And yeah, I'm really not sure that we're going to get anything here, so I will head back to that junction. Hopefully, it wasn't that far away, right? Pretty sure it was just through here and around the corner. I hope. Yeah, we're getting close. Okay, so let's get those towns. And here we go. This is what we're looking for. So I'm going to start out down here. And hopefully they show up. They're not that far away, so they're probably not huge places. But it's more likely that I'll see them than those other places. Oh, look at that. That's it. Holy crap. Okay, so I was right to look down here. So that is going to be six to the south. Oh, look, there's that other town, Alexivka. Wow. That's very close, isn't it? So uh, we're looking for this other place, something with a K. Um, or a K-looking thing. I'm not sure if that's actually K. I don't see that, though. Damn, we're going to be around here, though. Oh, no way. You're kidding me. What? What just happened? That's the... No, that's some crap. Hold on just one second. It's the same town name. But it's here. There. Oh my god. That is really, really unfortunate. Holy crap. I thought I was so lucky just finding it down here. And it is literally the same thing. I have Andrivka. Yeah, Andrivka. Wow. That's the most unfortunate thing that I think has ever happened to me on GeoGuessr. Oh man. Alright, so we're doing absolutely terribly right now. Uh, and again, we're not in a city. Unfortunate. I spoke too soon at the start about having lots of cities in Ukraine on GeoGuessr. Um, man, that is really unfortunate. Okay. So we just gotta move on, accept the failure, and work with this round. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Wow. Alright, what do we got to work with here? Hopefully some signs. We're in a sort of village type place here. So that's decent enough, I guess. Uh, it's more likely to have some sort of clues. It seems like a decent sized place as well. So we'll see if there's anything around here or on the outskirts. Uh, there's bus stops all along here, so there's that. And again, it's that same kind of landscape. So I guess I was wrong about that being southeast. Uh, so really, it could just be anywhere. Oh, that's an arrow sign. Uh, so really, this could be anywhere. Uh, as I said, Ukraine is really not my place of expertise at all for GeoGuessr. I can usually identify it for, like, country streak stuff. But... In terms of actually knowing where in Ukraine I am, that's another whole story. Uh, which you're watching play out right here. So sadly, we have not received any clues in terms of highway signs yet. So I have low hopes for this round as well. There's a horse right there on the side of the road, wow. Very cool. 
anymore, but I feel like I'm just aimlessly clicking along this road. There's nothing here. Uh, yet another little town we're passing through. My god, okay. I feel like I might have gone the wrong way. There, there have to be some signs. What is that? That's blurred out. Doesn't look very useful anyway. But we've got 30 seconds to go. Uh, I'm really not confident that we're going to get anything here. Hopefully we can just get a lucky guess by clicking somewhere in the country. Because um, this is really not ideal. My god. Took us through a lot of the Ukrainian countryside though. So, pretty nice looking place. So if you enjoyed that, there you go, you got three minutes of just this. So we're just going to have to click randomly here. I will close there. Hopefully that's close. Oh man. That was really bad. So, it doesn't really look like I went the right or wrong way. Because we're just kind of in the middle of these small towns. Maybe if I had gone down this way. I think because I went that way, yeah. If I'd gone here, I might have made it to this junction. There could have been some good signs there. Who knows? Uh, but that was not good. Again, so we have only 1754, and this is round number four. Really incredible. Didn't think I would ever get such a low score. This is probably going to be the lowest score I've ever gotten on my channel when it's all said and done. Uh, but there you go. It's Ukraine. <laughs> Not really my place. So let's see. We're actually in a decent sized place here for once. So hopefully uh, I can get this one. We'll see. Uh, that's just a small road sort of sign. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. So this seems like a bigger road. I'm going to head down here. Hopefully we can leave town and get some mileage signs. We'll see. Just a phone ad. So yeah, this is definitely a big city for sure. Um, Gagarina Ave. Oh, is that a city? That's, oh, I was thinking of Rostov. It kind of looks similar to that. This is Vostok. Not a city. At least, I don't think. But wait. That was what that said on that sign at the start. Hold on. This might be Sharkiv. Let me get to that sign. I have to retrace my steps here. I almost could swear that that's what that said. I, that's why I turned around and looked at it, that little white sign. That's not the road. Crap, crap, crap. How do I get back to that? Oh, man. Uh, here it is. There, this sign, right here. Look at that. Sharkiv. So I'm assuming we're going to be in Sharkiv, then. Or Kharkiv, as... This says it. I'm, I'm used to Sharkiv. Don't know if which way is right or less right or more right. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's where we're going to be. So we started sort of south of Avenue Gagarina, I think was what that storefront said. So let's see if we can spot that on here. It's unlikely, but it's worth a shot. Still have 30 seconds to go. This also might be a complete red herring. I mean, there's probably tons of Sharkiv named stuff all around Ukraine, but it's the best clue I have. Uh, so really, I just have to go with it. But yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, there's no way to get this perfect. Hopefully, it's actually here. Come on. Yes, let's go. It actually was. Oh, what a lucky catch. I knew that sign... I thought it had something important on there. I thought it looked like a city name. I was right about that. I'm so glad I went back and checked. Um, there we go, 4901. That is a huge score boost. Fantastic. Okay, so starting out here for our last round, another rural place. 
the goal here is to try and break 10k. I don't think that's going to happen because of, I mean, look at where we are. But we'll see. So, this actually might not end up being the worst score. I think I had worse in Hungary. I'm not sure if I broke 10k in Hungary either. I might have had like 11k. It was something abysmal like that. So, we'll see. Oh, wait, was that a sign? No. Uh, but we have this here. Telling us about these places. Are these big cities at all? Doesn't look like it. So... Yeah, they don't look like big places unless... No. Okay, so there's this bus stop here. Or something like a bus stop. Um, so yeah, we'll just... I don't know, I'll just leave the town. Hopefully there's something else. Uh, but yeah, once again, this is not looking great. That's really the only way I can work my way around these Cyrillic countries is just recognizing big city names. Uh, that's how it worked for me in Russia. That's how it's worked for me so far here, the one big city that we were in. So, yeah, not not very great all around. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Getting close to just a minute left here. Uh, I'm losing hope for this one. Hold on, there's this sign. Oh, this looks actually really good. Oh, let's go. Okay, so... Kiev is... Uh, 395. I don't know what this is saying. If these are that way, or I don't know. Um, how am I supposed to do this? There's no arrows. Uh, crap, but... Kiev is pretty far. How about some other nearby places? I, I swear the only run I'm recognizing is Kiev. Okay, Lviv is also just as far, so we're going to have to be in between them. Somewhere around there, then. Uh, this place, Pok something. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Rock, Rockintne. Okay, so that's 150. Okay. So that kind of works. So we're going to be around here somewhere. Almost certainly. Oh, I wish I saw that sign earlier. Oh, wow, okay. Not as close as I would have liked, but not that far off. So that's fine. Uh, right up here on the border with uh, Belarus. Very interesting. But final score, 8182. Absolutely awful. Uh, as you can see here, only one round did I actually figure out. This one I thought I did. It was a complete false thing. A different city with the same name. Very, very unfortunate. Uh, and the other three I really did not know. This one I kind of generally did know, but it was bad. So overall, terrible, terrible game. I'm sure a lot of people are going to beat me here. Uh, so congratulations if and when you do, uh, and thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.